Okay, we're back for another round of Medieval Total War. And let's just pick up right where we left off. Um, and something looks weird here. Where's... Who's this guy that got... Did I screw up the... This one's Anju. Oh, okay. So this guy... I was just... Something felt weird. Okay, so... And where is the Duke of Aquitaine? He. This is the Duke of Normandy. <laughs> Gosh, what did I do? Okay, moving around people, and who's this guy? He's just a guy. Okay, so <laughs> I'm trying to get all this. So where's Aqua? Oh, he's right here. I didn't even sign it out yet. All right, so let's get all this straightened out. That was weird. All right, and is this guy in the right place? Okay, we got, we'll get these guys arranged in the right place. There we go. Okay, so let's check the finances. They are real good. Um... Scotland's not too bad. Uh, let's just continue building. Um, let's go ahead and do a dockyard here. And I have to think about, uh, were we at war? Who were we at war with? <laughs> I can't remember. Oh, was it, was it? It was the, okay, it was the French. Okay, so yeah, just trying to remember who I even went to war with. Um, yeah, it might be a good idea to know who you're at war with. All right, so top priority is to keep this southern border maintained. We got the Spanish down here who are always a threat. Got to worry about the Pope calling crusades against us since we're fighting. That's the real negative about playing a Christian faction is that, um, you know, the, the Pope's going to come out and call those crusades against you. And uh, that's, always, that's always kind of a problem. So uh, what I want to do then is continue to build up our forces. So where should we build up our forces? I guess right here. And we have an armor here. So I think we're going to go ahead. What do we got? Okay, so don't know if I want to construct. Uh, we don't have the money yet. So let, let's just keep constructing We'll just keep constructing forces up in Wessex. And then what we'll do is uh, try to put the French out of business as quickly as possible before. Uh, yeah, well, there we go. The Pope's calling, calling crusades. What a shock. At least we got to keep up here. So we got to get this upgraded pretty quickly. I want to get a church up here as quick as possible. And... Okay, so yeah, let's get the armor. Yeah, I want to get the armor bonus. And then what I want to take is Champagne. That's that's the real one we need to take. And then Toulouse. And then I think we might go after the Spanish or the Germans. I'm debating. Oh, let's get these guys straightened out. Okay, so this was... I don't know how I got this all messed up. All right, so... Well, not paying attention. Okay, and this is for Normandy. Okay, I think everybody else is in the right place. And as I recall, there's a sort of a, a bonus you get by keeping these guys in the right province. Is it happiness or production? I think it's production. All right, so uh, this is such a critical province, by the way, because we've got the the iron. So that's a, that's a critical one. You get that iron bonus. All right, um, so things are, what's going on here? Everything's, everybody's building. So let's just end the round. I gotta remind myself, we've got about 400 years uh, before the game ends. What was it 1453 when the Middle Ages are officially over, at least in the historian's books. And then the Renaissance comes in. How would you like it if somebody said, you lived in the Middle Ages? Probably wouldn't like that, would you? But that's what uh, the people in the Renaissance, they acted like, the, well, that's why they named it the Middle Ages. They act, acted, uh, they were very interested in antiquity. They were interested in the classical, classical Greece, classical Rome. Uh, and so they acted like everything in between them and the uh, ancients, uh, you know, Rome and Greece, everything in between was just, they just called it the Middle Ages. Like it didn't even exist. It was sort of a dark period. Of course, we've re, uh, historians have reevaluated that and have noted that, there were a lot of advances in sciences and, and all kinds of things. So, 
sort of a term they don't like to use these days. But, you know, it hangs around, sticks around. Once it's there, it's hard to get rid of it. Um, okay, so... Too loose. I, I'm not going to... I think we're going to go for champagne first. So let's get up some forces here. Let's just continue building away here. And I think we have nothing. Just check in and see if we got anything to build. It's critical early on to keep things rolling. Uh, I think we, we we could put a... Let's put a bishop there. Keep the faith going. And this one's going to be critical to start doing the armor. So that's what we're going to get in a few rounds. I want to get that iron bonus that you get on your soldiers. So critical. And um, somebody was uh, in the message boards. I, I uh, recently... I actually hadn't played the game in a long time, but recently I, I couldn't, I can't fire up the uh, the battles anymore. It just crashes. So, um, and I don't know what happened. So I, I tried to do a battle and the whole thing just crashed. That was it. Game over. So um, I went and uh, somebody in the message boards pointed out that the there's a bug for Windows 10 and I'd have to upgrade to Windows 11. I'm not sure I want to do that right now. Uh, but they, they were pretty adamant that that fixes it. So, I, yeah, I was really wondering what happened to the, the battle. So so that's why I'm actually auto-resolving a lot of these. Um, because uh, it seems like I had this problem four years ago or three years ago when I was doing this too. But, I, I you know, I can't even remember. I think I was having the same issue though. So I don't know if uh, they seem to think that resolves it. So I guess I'll have to, to look into that. Um, I just don't know if I want to go to Windows 11, so. Okay, so we took Champagne. That is good. Um, and let's just keep bringing some forces down here. And then what I want to do is we got to decide. We're going to, well, we got to take Toulouse first things first. So, um, and the Germans, this is kind of a, a pain. I wish I had Ile de France. Did I pronounce that right? I'm not sure if I did. But uh, that's that's kind of a... Th I'm looking at that. That's kind of just sitting there in the middle, and I'd really like to take that. Ah, the Byzantines. Yeah, uh, they're, they're going to be a problem. They always are. They just expand really quick. They're in a great position. They got Constantinople, which was one of the great cities in the Middle Ages. And uh, later Roman times as well. Or... Before the Middle Ages, but in later Rome, of course, it was a fabulous city. Even before that, it was. Um, a warning from the Pope. Here we go. You know, they're going to start... They're going to start issuing crusades against us. And usually it's... I noticed before I played this game, it's the Spanish that heed that call more than the Germans. Uh, but they seem to like to heed that call. All right, let's reinforce our lost troops here. And let's... Kick the taxes up, and let's start building up. Oh, Lorraine needs a keep. Let's give it a keep. And let's just make sure everything's going. Now, how are we doing on the finances? Really good. Okay. Let's get a church there. We'll get an 80% there. 80% yield there. Good. And now we've got our first spear maker. Yes, I want to start getting, getting this built out too. Especially, I call these the big four because they have... Iron, which is my favorite resource. Uh, these four. I, in fact, I'll, I'll. This becomes my like production factor. I make all my units down here. Okay, so um, now we want to focus on Toulouse, and I don't want to overexpand too quick, but you don't want to go too slow either. So that's always a risk. If, but I do want to keep these armored units kind of going. So let's just keep keep building them, and then we'll take a look at Toulouse, but I might, let's get that spear maker going. There's a crusade. I just saw it. Usually the crusades uh, were not against Christian kingdoms. Of course, well, the better known version of that is against the, uh, is against, well, the, the first target was to capture Jerusalem. I think they had nine crusades, and the first one was wildly successful. They, they took, uh, they got up there, they took Jerusalem. By the way, they killed everybody there. They didn't, uh, and and uh, they they killed everybody. The Jews, the um, is is uh, they killed the Muslims, even the Christians who were there. They put them all to the sword. 
So it was a rather vicious business, but it was wildly successful. The first one that was uh, uh, very successful, the rest of them, not so successful. The tide began to turn, um, mainly because uh, there were a lot of conflicting interests. There were some people that wanted to uh, look, looked at it as a business opportunity. Other people were doing it for um, land acquisition. They had all these different agendas and they couldn't really unify in that. Uh, uh, and the uh, Muslims did under course, uh, of course, under Salah Hadin. Okay, so um, this is, we're going to constant. Okay, so good. Well, he's not going to bother us. Um, that's all we care about. But it was important, uh, the Crusades, because there was a tremendous uh, cultural exchange. Um, can you imagine before the Crusades, um, Europe was using the Roman numeral system. Ever tried to do math with the Roman numerals? It's, it's not a lot of fun. So uh, they picked up algebra. They picked up, I mean, it was a huge exchange that went on. And uh, they picked up, uh, I mean, all sorts of fields, music, botany, um, I mean, everything you can think of. Uh, uh, there was uh, they picked up obviously um, algebra, uh, 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 surgical techniques. I mean, all, all these things came out of the uh, crusade. So in a way, it was good, even though there was a lot of mayhem. Uh, there was a lot of good too with it. Okay, so um, let's see here. We've got did the king die? He did die. Uh, that's interesting. We got a four star here, so let let's keep the four star. And who's not loyal? Let's let's check the loyalty thing here. Um, it's not great. It's certainly not great. That's really bad. Uh, let's let's go ahead and boost boost this one's. Um, it's it's not exactly great. And we sure don't want a civil war. Uh, this at this early stage. This guy is good, so let's bring him down here. We'll make him the. Uh, we'll put him in charge of that army. And we really got to get Aquitaine here going. Let's see. I'm just going to start producing troops right here. Yeah. And then can we produce? Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and get this ball rolling. Um, we'll keep this. This is a province that I'll use for end game units because it gets that iron bonus so we're going to go ahead and just really build build out that province navar okay so okay good of course we already have an army here that's good so what we're going to do is just keep these two armies here and then use everything we build as for the offensive that will come eventually wondering how many do want to keep some forces situated up here because the you know I don't know how strong I probably should be building some more spies but you just don't know how strong um, the Germans are right now that's always the worry we we kind of know the French they're a known quantity right now uh, there's not a lot left of them but not sure how the how the uh, what size the Germans are and the, and the Byzantines are probably just taking over the, over the entire map to the east I'm sure. And usually they build this incredible navy, so you got to contend with that. And yeah. Okay, so let's see here. Um, which one's getting any of these guys getting armor? No, but we got an armor coming on here. So critical. Okay, so let's. Uh, I might divert this guy. He's a three star. I do. Let's see if we've got any other generals here. No. So let's just keep sending these guys down. And the money situation's good. Let's start. Actually, let's put a church there. Then we'll we'll build out the increased productivity on the wheat. Uh, I do want to get a shipwright going. And then let's let's build that out. And I'm actually going to put the church when we get that ability up here. Because Scotland is such a pain. Uh, it's just always revolting. So I'm going to give that, give put the church right there. The cathedral, sorry. The cathedral, whenever it comes. It's going right there because uh, that, that they're just always revolting. It seems like it's a constant problem. So, disappointing news. The French have somehow, yeah. Here we go. Okay. Against, well, okay. He's calling against Italians. All right. 
That's fine. We don't care about that. Um, somebody else can answer the call. Okay, so I don't want to really... Really what I'm looking for is just... Um, some of these provinces, I'm not going to build them out completely. Um, but I do want to at least get the happiness, as much happiness as I can. Keep your people happy. And that helps with Endgame, especially if you're trying to beat 1453. But I do kind of want to step it up because, you know, I'm sort of a, um, I'm not the super aggressive type. Let's just say that I'm very conservative, but I, so I sort of have to kick myself to get going because there is an end date and I got to remind myself of that. So while it's nice to sit back and just sit and build, you do kind of have to, uh, press the envelope as they say. So let's keep these guys going. And the... Yeah, so that's good. So we need, like, uh, I think a couple armies. You know what? I think I'm, we're just going to take a risk here. And we are going to dispatch. We do have some forces. It's not like we don't have any forces. Um, We do have some forces up here. So I think I'm going to dispatch this army. Yeah, we're going to bring this guy down. And what I might do, just temporarily is move the king's army down here. So we'll take this guy off. We'll give him a we'll, we'll give the king a, some forces so he's not a wimp. And then what we'll do is we'll bring him well we'll just bring him down anyways. So we got something down there. Uh, we we don't want the Germans to get uh too interested in us. And we don't want them to think we're weak. Not in the Middle Ages. You want to show that you're you're a tough guy, and that's how uh, you know. That's how a lot of uh, that's how a lot of war works. Even today, you want to show that you're the you're the. Uh, it's not in your best interest to attack. That was uh, really. A, it's been uh, since the beginning of time. Um, that's sort of the uh, the way you did it. The Spartans were the first to really use that, and. Um, in ancient Greece, nobody wanted to fight the Spartans based off their repute alone. Nobody really wanted to take them on. So often, uh, you know, the Spartans would show up on a battlefield and then everybody would just go home. They said, oh, we're, not, we're not too interested in taking them on. And uh, they, they won a lot of wars without even having to fight. And when you did fight them, you knew that they were going to, um, it was going to be extremely long, hard, brutal fight. Okay, um... So let's uh, let's bring down this army. So we'll have two, three armies. I think I think we can do. Let's see what they the, the composition is. Yeah, they they don't have. That doesn't look like too threatening here. This that's a very weak part of that army. So I think if we can get three armies here, uh, we can call this a day. I think that's what we're looking for. Tempted to build. Well, let's let's keep building. I do want a port there. And we're just going to keep expanding. That's all. That's the name of the game. Um, we've got, let's get the uh, better ship right so we can build the those awesome ships. Okay. I'm almost tempted. Actually, I, I've changed my strategy a little bit here because I want to really want to start pressing the envelope. Um, I think we're just gonna go in right now and we'll put this guy no we'll keep this guy here okay oh I didn't bring in the other army huge mistake but are the Spanish gonna help us they are gonna help us and we were excommunicated yeah Ah, uh, the Pope, the Pope, the Pope. He's impossible to please anyways. All right. Um, so, that's what we needed to do. Okay, good. So, we're going to take Toulouse. And then the question is, do we want to focus, start focusing on the Spanish? Or do we want to start focusing on the Germans? I say we focus on the Germans. But we got to keep some pretty big forces down here. That's the problem. We're going to have to keep quite a bit down here. So maybe we're maybe we're going to take on the Spanish. I'm changing my mind. We'll see. I always change my mind. So 
let's get everybody up here, but I don't want to leave the governor, leave him outside. That's that's the reminder that there's, I've, I've done that before where I start moving the governor around with the army, and then next thing you know, you don't know where your governor is at. Well, let's move. I think that's good. So we're going to stop construction up there of units, and we're going to keep it going down here. So we've got to lose. When's that gonna fall? One year. Okay. So then, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna actually go for Spain first. I ch I changed my mind yet again. But we got we got enough forces up here, I think, to deal with anything that's gonna give us any trouble. So uh, eliminate the Spanish. Then maybe we'll target the Germans. Or I think further south is the Alamohads. So they the the Caliphate, uh, the late Caliphate. Crusade and they're fine. Okay, so we don't care about that. I really hate. I really want Ile de France. It's too bad the Germans took that from the French. But it is what it is, as they say. All right. Well, we're gather, gathering some forces here. Let's keep just getting as much as we can in place. And this is about to fall, and we'll keep all this in place up here. Okay, and that's good. And everything's looking good. Let's keep keep that up. Um, do we want? We got 698, so I do want to keep some profitability going. So let's. Uh, we we got to watch that. That's that's the thing. Got to got to pay attention to that. King of France is dead. And here comes a message from the Pope telling me what a scumbag guy. Oh, he didn't. Okay, that was nice of him. He still hates us, though, I'm sure. All right, so we need to keep an army on this province. Um, so we'll build up a little bit here, and then we're just going to go in. So we've got this two-star. We need him. And we're just going to continue that on. And this, this is a good situation. Okay. Okay. Got some more profit coming in. Good. All right. Well, they're really thinking about it. So the Hungarians are, are kicking some butt down there. Okay. Um, let's just keep that queued up. I want to keep stuff queued up. I really should. You know what? I am going to actually build... Uh, temporarily, well, it, it's not, it doesn't cost that much. We're going to build uh, an armor up here just to give him the bonus. And then the question is, how tough are the Spanish? I can't really tell. Let's see. Let's look at the composition of these troops. And it's They got some armor. I mean, it's not the worst army I've ever seen. It's certainly not the best. Um, let me think about this. What if we move this guy over here? You know what? I feel like we're just going to go and do it. Okay, there we go. So, being more aggressive than I like, if I had more time, I would... Well, you guys are probably laughing because you're like, I can do this in 25 minutes or whatever, but uh, I, I'm more of the conservative player. But uh, So, this is not so conservative for me. Usually, I, I would take more time, build up a few more armies, but... Now nah, we're just gonna we're gonna go on the offensive here. Let's see. Good champagne. Let's get that going. So we got some money out of that. That's good. And let's just keep the ball rolling. So these are pretty sizable armies. Let's get another one here. And what are we looking at down here? Okay, so that's pretty secure. Let's actually put this guy over here. And let's just keep moving him in. I'm going to move this guy out for a minute. And did I actually... I actually should... I didn't make that a, a peasant, but that's fine. Okay. So let's move the king out and then let's get uh let's order up this i want to definitely keep 
uh, this uh, build this all the way out. These will be my elite units. Oh, wait a minute. We can get... Um, I do like feudal sergeants. So let's take the feudal sergeants. And I think we're okay down there for now. And we definitely have enough units around the Germans in case they decide to... There's a Byzantine... Oh, I hate to see that early. Byzantine... What was I saying earlier? Yeah, there comes their navy. Oh, my gosh. Already up. We, yeah, we got to get navy just in case... Uh, I don't even know... I'm glad I'm building some of those shipwrights because, um, yeah, they're already all the way up here. Look at this. They expand so fast. That's why I like to border them because I usually can take them out. Um, what do we want? Oh, we don't even have the ability to do that yet. Let's, let's, let's just get something. We're going to build a few ships out here. At least three. I just want to put a block here. And if I can get down here, a block down here would be nice too. But that's, yeah, see, that's the thing. They get up there so early. So the good news is we repelled that attack that they threw at us. And let's send some reinforcements over here because that's still a siege going on. Oh, we got a three, we got a three-star general. We will take that. Do I want to put him over here? Yeah, let's, let's put him over here. Is he loyal? Yes, he is. Uh, where's the kings here? Okay, do we have any... Who do we got? We got Prince Henry, Prince Edward. We have a Princess Catherine coming. Okay. Don't want to get the king killed, though, so I got to be careful. Eventually, if I can get a replacement army in uh, Flanders, I'll, I'll put the king back up in Wessex. Keep him nice and safe. Okay, so we took... One of the big four, as I call them, has that iron. There you go. So, And it's a big money maker. So let's start to build this one out. And we're in really good shape here. So I got the reinforcements here. What can we build? Nothing. Uh, so let's just pause for a minute up here. Because these guys don't have the armor. Well, we have the armor bonus coming, so we're not going to pause. We're just going to keep up the heat and try to take... I need another army, I think. To keep these safe but i could no you know what let's do it i'm just gonna go in here and now we can move the king of navarre back where he belongs and there we go really really putting the pressure the reason i attacked spain is because they do a lot of cru at least i noticed before they they sure love to do those crusades against me I remember it was annoying. Like they, they seem to heed the, the Pope's call to, to, to attack. We did lose quite a few units there. That was a little, oh, there's the Alamahads. There they are. They're already up here. Okay. The Moors is the uh, Christians referred to them. Um, they were a sort of a, um, a blend, I, I would say between the Berbers and North Africa. And the Arabs, of course, from the Arabian Peninsula. So it was kind of a, a mixed army uh, that came up here initially, at least. And what happened was um, when they came out of the Arabian Peninsula, the Muslims uh, converted. I mean, because uh, uh, the Byzantines were, were very weak. So they took over Syria, all these areas, came out of here, got Palestine and Sinai. They came into Egypt. Now, at during the Middle Ages, Egypt had the largest Christian population in the Christian world. They had the largest Christian population. And just like that, they converted to Islam, almost all of them. Not all of them, but a lot of them did. Um, and so there wasn't a lot of resistance. But when the Arabs moved further, deeper across North Africa, they ran into the Berbers. And that was a big fight. That was a huge struggle between the Berbers didn't give up easily. Now, they eventually were converted to Islam. They did convert. And so when they came up into Spain, they were sort of this blend. That's why they were called the Moors. They referred to the uh, Arabic, uh, the, the, the Muslims and the uh, Arab Muslims and the Berber Muslims. And uh, there was that, but that tension wasn't really resolved. In fact, I think at one point there was a there was a revolt from the Berbers, and I think that was one of the reasons that they didn't actually conquer Spain. It was not all not the main factor. Of course, up here they ran into this guy named uh, Charles Martel, who kind of uh, played a big role, but. Um, but, you know, there was always sort of this tension between, um, you know, what was going on here. And I think the caliphate at that time was in, 
based out of Damascus at that time. I think it was in Damascus, the, the overall leadership. So, okay, so we've got got some good stuff going here. Let's continue on um, and keep 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 up uh, pressing here. That's good. The Alamahads are actually up here because we may stay friends with them for a while. Um, but they, yeah, that's a big province money wise though, so it's it's difficult to to do that. But uh, let's send some reinforcements here. And let's keep up the pressure. We're going to take Valencia. What, what is this? Let's send him there. So we've got nobody here. Uh, that, that might be pushing it. Um, let's send this guy back. And we'll send this guy back. Okay, so let's see. Um, thought I sent one of those guys back. Apparently not. Okay, so we've got, all right, well, that's not too terrible, um, but we'll build a couple uh, peasants and may make one of them the governor. I'm sure he'll enjoy that governorship. Oh, we held it. Yeah, that was a big attack. I think we're gonna hold this one. Yes, we do. I gotta be a little leery about the Almohads. I don't know what their how many forces they got. I mean, they don't look weak by any stretch, but you don't know what's what's down here. So let's do this. Let's see if we can com or at least combine. I like to get an idea. All right, so there's there's an army. Okay, yeah, but we so I think we can repel. Main thing is I just want to hold what I took. I, you hate to have to sort of go back where you came from. The sort of uh, one step forward, two steps back thing. No, we don't want to do that. So let's actually put give this guy some reinforcements. Let's send some reinforcements here. And then um, we need another. Let's give him the governorship. Okay, there we go. Okay, so maybe we'll just take the whole Iberian Peninsula. I wasn't planning on doing that, but I think... I think, I think we want to drive the Almohads back. A five-star general? That's not bad. Okay. So we're just going to keep the production. Does this have... Oh, you know what? Actually, we can cancel. Do we, what, do we, what can we make here? No, we're not canceling production yet. Okay. Got ahead of myself. So we'll keep the production lines going here and in Navarre. Oh, look at the Byzantines. They already got like a bunch of ships. So I'm going to put a block here. Oh, there's one here. Look at They're all over the place. Oh, my gosh. Okay. That's kind of disturbing. So we're going to stay friends with the Byzantines as long as we can. They're always a pain because they're always expanding quickly. Yeah. Hopefully the Polish and uh, some of the, um, who else is down there? Is it the Golden Horde? I think they come along at some point. They're, they're at least... Providing a little bit of a counterweight. The Egyptians, I think, are right by them. Okay, so... This is really good. We got this this five-star. I like that. And we've got to work on this province a little bit. Let's get the watchtower done first. How are these? I, I should do a spot check here. We've got... Let's 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 I, I can't forget about the, the money situation, which is growing. Okay, that's good. Um <clears throat> let's just see here. Uh Okay, so we got our first monastery, that's good. That'll provide happiness and order. And I think I want to start building I'd like to get over to Ireland, take Ireland just so somebody else doesn't get it. It's not really the best place to be. It's kind of hard to get a profit over there, but it's uh, it's at least I just don't want somebody else taking it. So we are in, we really do want world domination. So we got to get every single province or we could take the lesser victory, but you know, that's kind of like a uh, half glass, a uh, half glass full type of thing. Yeah. Okay, so what do we got? 
Let's get this done here. Okay. And this looks like Spain's pretty much finished, so it's the Alamahads who we're going to be fighting uh, next. And the good news is uh, at least the Pope won't have a problem with that, so that's that's always good. Okay. So we're just really pressing the fight here. Pressing the good fight. I think, actually, the Almohads, I mean, they don't look like they're too dangerous right now. But you don't want to let them get out of control either. And I don't know if they're pushing further What You don't know what they're doing down by Egypt if they're in a war. Well, we could see if they're, we could check that. But, nah, not gonna. So the Spanish king is dead, courtesy of my belligerence. And uh, let's go ahead and see. I think we're just going to really continue this aggressiveness. Got two armies here. What can we build? Nothing. Well, we could get some archers. But I'm, I'm going to keep going for the armored feudal sergeants. That's what we want. So... That's a big profit maker right there. All right, let's go for Cordoba. We're gonna we're gonna go in, and we're gonna take a little bit of. Well, let's hold. Well, actually, hold off here just for one second. Don't want to be too aggressive. Want to settle things down just just a little bit here. That's not good. Because he comes back what in ten rounds? Yeah. Um, but it doesn't really matter because we don't have those territories anyways. So we don't really care if he comes back. That's fine. It probably I'm thinking it was the Byzantines or the Italians, but probably the Byzantines. They seem to be expanding pretty quickly. Okay, so we are going to go in on the Alamahads. Did we break a treaty? Yeah, we break a lot of treaties. Um, let's cut the taxes here. And let's just keep this army situated right here. Got some money here to maybe add. So at least we got some boats up here. Some some boats with a one star. That's not bad. Um, let's order a couple. Take the money that we just earned off some of those sieges, and let's let's order a couple couple of those so we can get monasteries. I'm just concerned about up there about happiness. That can become a big problem. And yeah, keeping keeping your subjects happy is really good. It's actually very useful in the end game when you got to get all your troops at the front line and you're trying to conquer all the provinces and you don't have to keep as many forces pinned back in your in the in the back areas and so wait, what do you got here? The king of Poland has sent an emissary. He brings No, we're not we're going to keep stay friends with the Germans right now cuz they're on our borders. Don't really care about the Polish. But the Polish AI can usually expand pretty quickly. He's actually, I've, I've played some games in the past where he got pretty big. Um, I mean, to the point where it was just the Poles and myself fighting for, for domination. Okay, so almost got another army constructed up here. Let's keep it, let's keep the ball rolling. And Valencia is in good shape. Let's actually build out some peasants here. Maybe three of them. How are we doing here? Pretty good. Okay, yeah, we're getting some... Starting to get some cash here. Okay. So... Let's do this. Let's just hold off. Let's, let's just hold off. Almost have another army constructed up near Navarre, so... Thinking... Really don't want to take Portugal, but I don't want... The rebels to get they can also grow too so you got to watch it they can get sizable too and the next thing you know you've got a huge battle on your hands um let's see here i think we want to go for a castle yes let's let's just get castles at a minimum we definitely want castles 
And the projected profits is really good right now. That's great. Um, let's send this these guys down here. Okay, so we'll have another army, and then we'll we'll take Lyon, Castile, and Lyon. Okay. Yep, I figured the Byzantines were the richest. Okay, so we took Cordoba, which is a massive money-making operation. So uh, we'll just build this right out. Increase taxes. How are we doing here? Good. Let's let's just send this loan force down here, and we can start boosting tax. Look at that, seven. 830. It's actually Valencia. Oh my gosh. Okay. I think we need one more unit for another army, and then we'll take Leon. I love saying it that way. Leon. No, my accent is terrible. I know. Let's get some money making going there. And I think what we're going to do is maybe get to Morocco or Algeria, and then we're going to focus on not so concerned about the Egyptians or if they're over there, but we, as long as we keep the Almohads contained in the south, we can then focus on the Germans. He's dead. That's good. Hopefully there's a big rebellion. Okay, so we got a full army here. It's a loyal army. So let's go over to Leon. And let's keep this train rolling. Good, okay. And then we've got to take Portugal, though I hate taking Portugal because it's such a hard area to please. They're kind of like the Scots. But I've been to Portugal, and its uh, they're very peaceful there, but it's very hard, I guess, in the Middle Ages to hold Portugal. Okay, so, where are we at? Big time profits. Big time profits there. So we'll keep this army up here. Let's actually send a couple... Let's send him a couple reinforcements. And then keep this army here. And this is good. Okay. And let's see if I take this off of Castile. Let's see where we're at. Yeah, let's let's just get it. We'll have to sign the governorship there. Here we're in pretty good shape. Look at those Byzantines. They just keep expanding. 4,000 already. Wow. Okay. Well, since we're... Let's get a couple more castles built. Just because I want to get that monastery. Let's build a dockyard. Then we'll do a castle. And we should have some boats we can make. So we'll go over to Ireland. And there we go. So we're moving pretty quickly here. At least... My type of quickness. Um, what is all this? Here, okay. Execute them. Just no questions. Haul them in and haul them over and execute them. Okay. Can't stand for that type of insolence, really. It's a good thing that uh, I wasn't a king in the Middle Ages because I'd probably just be executing everybody. And then I'd probably get executed myself because that, that usually caused a rebellion. I'm sure I would have caused a rebellion. Okay, so we've got to assign the governorship here. We can kind of raise the taxes a little bit. And then we've got to take Portugal, which I really am not... You know what? Before we take... 
what do I want to do here? I guess I guess we do have to take Portugal. So, and that's kind of there for the taking. Let me see. Got the three star up here. I think what we're gonna do is switch these guys. We're gonna go this guy, this guy, that guy. So this the five star is going to is that a four star? Sorry, four star is going to hold uh, Cordoba, which doesn't look like it's gonna to be too much of an issue. And we've got another army brewing down here, so that's good. Okay. So let's take stock of the situation. Um, I think the strategy is going to be to maybe take, well, we will take Morocco, go a little bit deeper in, we'll see. All right, so let's also build out some of the grain operations. Let's get a monastery there. Oh, here we go. So we'll get the uh, blacksmith too. That's that's huge. I'm sorry, I can't I can't remember what they call that. Yeah, metalsmith. Okay. Armor workshop, metalsmith. But this is the big one. That's the big one I want. That should fall pretty quick. Let's see what the. Well, it's not too bad. We almost have the whole Iberian Peninsula. It's a big deal. So the southern wing, I think, is in pretty good shape. King of England, England has died. No. We just got a another four star. It's not too loyal. Um, okay, so let's take let's take a look and see. What did I say? I was going to move the. I guess we'll, we'll keep them here. Um, Got a lot of money coming in, so let's let's keep the castles. Let's keep building the castles. I'm gonna do a castle build right here, pretty quick. Um, did we do the monastery? I think we did. Okay, so sitting over here, I don't even know. Is that even worth going over there? I guess it is. So it's kind of a pain to hold, but. Okay, so I think we have some disloyalty here. So you guys see, after the king dies, it's always the case, right? Uh, but who's the, I guess we're looking for the least loyal. Oh, I don't like his loyalty. Um, what about our this four star down here? Loyal. That's the worst. Okay, let's take. I guess we're not going to marry him off. He won't marry. Oh, or is he? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, well. Did we already marry him? I have no idea. Okay, well, he's refusing the marriage, so we should have him arrested and quartered for such insolence. Well, nonetheless, uh, we've almost got all of Iberia conquered, which is good. We have the largest force. I like that message. We got the marriage. Not to this guy. He's a little bit more loyal, though. He likes conquering Portugal. Okay, so if we take off this guy, what do we get? What do we left? Oh my gosh. Well, we're gonna just keep these armies here for a little bit. Might as well get boost up the taxes. And then I'd like to press on, press on if we can. But we've got an army up here. That's good. So let's bring him down here. And let's just keep up the good fight. Um, we're going to build some forces. So we're going to cancel. Okay, well... That's good that Cordoba has a, a metalsmith because we can cut right to the chase. Okay, so we're immediately gonna not even worry about income on Portugal. We're just gonna get try to get the, um, as quickly as possible, get a keep. 
and get a church up there to try to get that happiness up. I don't want to keep armies just pinned. Let's see if we take off. Wow. Let's let's make some peasants and we'll just send them over there. That's what we're going to do. Okay, so we've got two armies and we should the Alamahads just are no threat to us whatsoever. I wanted to get on them early because they can also be a, a pain. Well, everybody's a pain, but um, I always like to protect the southern wing. Um, you really don't want to be engaged in two fronts, so it's good to get down here. A crusade is on us and a messenger's... Oh, gosh. Where is it? <sighs> We're going to have to let it go through. You know, I hate Crusades because they just, well, because they just suck. Because <laughs> they take your forces. But anyways, and, and they're going to the place where you don't want them to go. They're going on a bad route. Um, well, what are you going to do? Okay. We'll just, ha just have to replenish the forces, but uh, I, can't, I can't stand those things. But it's not going to stop us from doing what we got to do. And we got to still do the business at hand. So he's going to probably come this way. Maybe we'll just back out of here and put in a peasant or something. You can drain him. Have fun draining him. Where is he heading again? That's a real... To Morocco. There's not going to be a Morocco pretty soon. In fact, we're going to, we're going to go right after Morocco. Maybe he'll call it off, but I doubt it. Look at where the Byzantines are already. Oh my gosh. I don't know. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be real tough to beat them. They've they've really expanded uh, faster than even... I, that seems like a fast expansion. The Crusaders... That's just really quite allowing you to... Sure. We'll let you come through. We'll be your friends for a while. Yeah, we'll accept it. We don't care. Okay. Um. So the Algeria... That might be a good place to leave the, leave it. The southern wing is definitely protected, which is all I wanted. So where is this dumb crusade? Shouldn't say, ooh, opportunity, potential opportunity. Let's take a look at this. Okay. There is a opportunity right there to take this critical province. That's very critical. Um, where did the crusade go? I don't know. Let's let's move this guy back in. It looks like he drained him. Did he drain him? Yeah, he did drain him. Okay. But he's going somewhere else. Oh, maybe because Morocco is now no longer in existence. All right. Well, I think this is a good place to call it. We took all of Iberia. We've basically defended the southern wing. I think in the next video, we're going to target the Germans. We're going to start moving against them. I'm very concerned. I'm going to think, you know what? We may rethink that strategy because maybe we'll just let them duke it out. This is, I'm worried about the Byzantines are going to get all, grab all these territories now. So we've, we've got to move. Time is, is of the essence. So we'll talk about that in the next video. See you guys later.